on match day two, group two has potential to send a team into the knockout stage. Welcome to USL E Cup Rocket League Edition. Mike Watts, Devin Kerr, Charleston Battery taking on the Colorado Springs Switchbacks. If the Battery win, they are guaranteed the first or second place position in the group. Devin 1v1. It's a best of three here, but with that top two advancing into the knockout stage, both these teams can basically put themselves in there. Charleston can be sure. Again, it is only the top two that go through, Mike. And to finish that off right away in your first two games, we'll give you a bit of luxury come the final one. We've seen some interesting performances so far between Austin, Tormenta, Battery, and Colorado Springs just now. Well, we're going to add a little flavor to it because if Sichero can get it done, that will set up what will be a knockout match between Dylan Wavra or at least Colorado Springs and Austin with the reinfluence of Michael Serna. More importantly, right now, we're playing for charity. We're going to have a little fun, but there can be only one. Care and Share Food Bank of Southern Colorado is the partner for Colorado Springs Switchbacks. Mauro Sichero playing for the battery, trying to get into that knockout stage. Can he get it done? This best of three when we come back. Colorado Springs, Charleston, teams from the USL Championship, both atop the group coming into this second match day. Charleston Battery have the significant goal difference margin, and most importantly, they are the ones who can punch their ticket. Colorado Springs can put themselves in great position, but may still have work to do. Charleston, they can sense it, they can feel it, they know just how important this moment is. Look at Moro 704, he recognizes the presence inverts himself and shoves those side nine tires right into the back of the net. Correction, Mike, I've just been informed that they're actually tens, but he keeps them clean. This is in again for Sichero. a pattern here in his game. That he has big scoring runs. He had a 10-0 run and a 6-0 run in game one and game two respectively against Austin. He may have something similar cooking here. He might have a third, although he's going to be a tad late. Wavra knows he has to defend the goal line. Mauro Sichero carries it all the way through. Take a seat. Sichero's on the move again. I mean, he's easily got to be moving into the next round. That's no disrespect to what's going on with Dylan Wavra, but this is another animal than what Wavra faced in the first round. Sichero, that is so cheeky and so painful right now for Colorado Springs. Oh, even the little love tap on the back side of things. Did not need to throw himself over the line, but sometimes it's better to be wrong than to be right. Sichero on the move again. Sichero from long range. Sichero sets this up a second time. Thought I went in the first time, Mike. Look at the aerial. Lovely little tap right into the corner.
Sichero great recovery by Sichero. Well done there. Nice. Oh, Sichero, that is filthy. Utterly filthy. Stop. Sichero has come out firing. This is the third straight game, three times in as many games in this tournament, where he has had a run of six goals or more in a row. That, by the way, Michael, gets you the pink ribbon, which to some people means nothing, and to me, I'm not exactly sure what it means yet. But the good news is, is he's going to get one. Sichero makes it a 7-0 run. Two minutes and two seconds to do it. This is a demolition. Unfortunately, it's not a derby because you have to be, we'll say, competitive for that to happen. I am Garrick really struggling in this performance. Sichero settles. Wavra goes up to contest. Wavra was a guy who's played for a long time, but hasn't played in a tournament quite like this. Sichero, the one who really had the positive response to it. That's how he made the team. That's why he's the captain. This, too, because he is continuing to pour it on. Mike, you think he's capable of not going into double digits? Can he make it over the 15 mark? He's halfway there with half a game to go. You know, there's another what if here for both these teams as Sichero is going to add to his margin. Preach. Tell me. Mauro Sichero was drafted by FC Dallas. He could have been playing for North Texas. And on the other side, Dylan Wavra last year was working in Memphis. He could have been playing for 901 FC. I mean, there are trades and signings around this league that can change the direction of your E-Cup team in a very short amount of time. And yet for some reason, Mike, I can't get anyone to return a phone call. Wavra closed in on the first goal for him. The 10th goal in a row would match his longest scoring run in a row. And it's sitting up on a platter for him. He was hoping to get the deflection. But now he's going to take it. 11 straight goals for Mauro Sichero who's the toast of the town in Charleston. And unfortunately for Dylan Wavra, it looks like he will end up skirting on that number two, number three position, having to take on the likes of the surging Michael Serenas, also known as Austin Bold, also known as Marcelo Serrano, also known as the other team from Texas, and also known as the different color boys in blue. Back to you, Mike. The, the Copa Tejas feel is going to be real. The other team in Texas. We've seen Copa Tejas around this bracket. Will we see it in the knockout stage for, for Austin? They have to get through to find out. All the other Texas teams got drawn into the same group. Sichero. Sichero. Oh. Oh. There's rude, downright rude, and ridiculously rude. That was ridiculously rude. 
Love it. Give me some more of it. Now, the elephant on top is supposed to be good luck. But instead, it's good luck. Right now, he's hoping, like an elephant, he doesn't forget the lessons he learned here because Mauro Sichero is most certainly taking Dylan Wavra to school. And right now, this ascension, you see the halo on top of the Charleston car has been swift in this group. Good news is you get to reset the scores in the game number two. Bad news, this 11-0 margin might be a pretty clear indication of where this match is headed. And Charleston is a game away from the knockout stage. Charleston Battery, one of the all-time teams in North American soccer, one of those brands that has just persisted right now in USL E Cup. Looks like they are headed into the final 16. Malcolm crosses it in. Robinson was on the door. Set down. Trying to score. Matt Hunley with the Robinson off the crossbar and in. How did he do that? Here comes Malcolm. Takes a shot and he scores. Now Seth with the shot. Corti again, but it's batted into the back of the net. Jordan Burns, the captain. Let's go, Chris. You deserve the same steady attention from your bank that you give to the work that you do. With Balanced Banking at Pikes Peak National Bank, you'll have a true success-driven working relationship with your business banker. Take us for a spin and enjoy the difference when you combine traditional financial partnership with all the modern bells and whistles. Community-based values and service, big-time banking convenience. That's Balanced Banking. Bank well, be well with Pikes Peak National Bank. Charleston right now hungry for their chance to move into the knockout stage. USL E Cup Rocket League Edition. All comes down to this, Devin. Charleston with a win here in game two in this best of three. We'll head into the final 16. And all they'll have to play for in the final uh, game of the match, uh, final match of this group is a chance to be number one. Good news is, Mike, is I was down in the tunnel at halftime, as short as it was, and I saw Ziggy the Ram, and he told me he has an extra special feeling about this second game. Oh, that is devastating. That is simply devastating. one nothing Charleston, and the way it happens is the kind of, of nightmare that Colorado Springs won't soon forget. Black Eyes Peas had a feeling as well. They were able to turn in some platinum songs, but unfortunately for the platinum on the field right now, they're musicless. Sichero finishes the job, and it looks like Charleston is going to take that game one dominance and take it right into the second game and take this match. You know, Devin, when you get to this point where it's 11-0 in the first game, 2-0 now in the second. <clears throat> I was going to say 3-0, but Sichero misses the mark and will take this down into his own half. Is he going to pay for that? He won't. Uh, but, Devin, at this point, we're looking for those, those little things that you do right that make the difference between winning and losing in the knockout stage. That's what it's all about now. You're looking for for all those mechanics that, that take a good player and make them great. You also get to see some of the storylines start to play themselves out. All jokes aside, now you're starting to see, and I'm gonna coin one of your phrases that was used earlier, separate the men from the boys as Moro 704. Bobo just keeps it on going. He knows exactly where he's going. That's into the next round. But you see Switchbacks FC come out, Dylan Wavra, Sets the tone, 
I'm going to go aggregate here. I know it doesn't count, but, you know, he goes 9-4 between the two matches. You think, okay, he's got the positive momentum, but that's not the case now. Now he's on the short end of the stick, and he's going to have to go play in an elimination match against the likes of Austin Bold as Moro704 just continues to pound the door. It's going to be a fun one. Four zero. 15-0 in aggregate. Charleston is going to be nearly impossible to beat for the number one spot in this group. That long-range goal, reminiscent of, of, of a Bradley at the Azteca kind of goal. I had the pleasure of being at the Azteca, Mike, and do you know what my favorite experience was about it? I'll give you a peso if you can guess. I'd rather just have you tell me. There is a goal for Colorado Springs. They are off the schneid, and their hope, their dream, maybe has a little more life. There you go, Dylan. Now he's right back in it. There's a little fight left in him yet. My favorite experience, Mike, and this is a true story is that as they have vendors that walk around the stadium in the States, you see beer, you see food, water, soda. The vendor sold me ramen noodles. They were delightful. Oh, I thought you were going to say Amaro Sichuro. Sichuro. What they didn't sell was hope. And that's what Dylan Wilber needs right now. I am Garouk, just struggling. He got it to four, but that has now been extended to five, and that is just one away from six. That's halfway to 12. Well, the Colorado Springs fans, the watch party at Widener Field, were doing the Wavra, and now they are firmly back in their seats. The Chero goes airborne. That just needed a little kiss instead. Off the wall. Plenty of boost there, but he can't break free. And now Sichero with the little fake, the dummy, and the finish. No kiss needed there, Mike. Just a full French. He slows down, waits on it, bottom corner. And you got to feel that Colorado Springs it's really struggling. I feel for him. There's a couple guys that, you know, I just didn't necessarily fall in love with, but I took a liking to. I just don't have the same yen for Colorado Springs that I did after their victory over Tormenta. Sichero carries this all the way down. Whoa! Wavra came out of nowhere for that. Wavra's woken up. Is it too little too late? This is going to inch towards the line. And Sichero takes it down to the other end. Calm, cool, collected. He's frozen, Mike. Hanging out with Elsa. Well, Devin, if you're Colorado Springs, E Cup still, still very much in view. They are going to play a do-or-die elimination game. Charleston is going to punch their ticket into the next round and the best of five series. Whether they face a top team or a second place team remains to be seen, but right now it appears that the number one spot in this group is all but assured for Charleston Battery. Interesting how it Pretty much the top of most of the groups right now, there is one player that is far and away better than the rest of the field, Sichero. 
definitely going to be leading them into the next round. You just kind of wonder, is he going to end up with three? Probably. Well done there by Sichero. And, you know, Devin, switchbacks are going to be moving into a new stadium. It's a, I mean, stadium renderings always look great. Most stadium renderings. There's a lot of anticipation for what Alan Koch is going to do there in his first year. But in E-Cup, you're going to have that true win-or-go-home game. Really gets 2020 off on the right foot, even if this result does not go their way. And it, it appears quite certain that it won't. Mike, is it fair to say, and this has nothing to do with Colorado Springs, but just on your comment, is it fair to say that stadium renderings are the glamour shots of the footballing world? No, it's logo explainers. Battery chasing in the final third. Wavra knocks it down. Climbing Pikes Peak. And the bouncing shot for Mauro Sichero, the cherry on top. Looking to the second round, Mike. He's looking to go to a place where the water flows like wine. I'm talking about a place called Knockout Red. Charleston Battery have certainly proven their bona fides. Top of the group. That's guaranteed going into the final match day. What is guaranteed for sure, they're in the knockout round as the number one or number two seed. We'll show you how they put Colorado Springs to rest here when USL E Cup returns. Let's take a look at these highlights. Devin, it is going to be a buffet for Charleston Battery. I mean, really soak it in. This is the Thanksgiving dinner of highlight packs. Mauro Sichero was excellent, and with it, he is headed to the knockout stage. Very few teams can say they've guaranteed that going into the final match day. Michael Watts, do you think Michael Anhauser had anything to do with the training regiment for the Charleston Battery and Moro Sichero. Do you see what I did there? I saw all of it, and I'm going to guess yes. Dylan Wabra still alive here as he moves into the final match. It's going to be a big one against Austin. Win or go home. Charleston, they know they've got at least two more matches ahead. For producer Sharni Yerke, our entire Vista World Link crew, and Devin Kerr alongside Mike Watts saying thanks for watching. USLE Cup Rocket League Edition.